Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you how you can connect your Flask app to an AWS RDS MySQL DB instance. So let's begin. So first of all, you can start by creating a DB instance for MySQL inside our AWS RDS account. So now we can head up to AWS and now we can head up to RDS and get inside the databases list. Now we can create the database using create database button. And now we can select our configuration. So I'll just select a MySQL database right here. Now I can uh, keep it as free tier. Now I'll set up a password here for the username. It is admin, so I'll just let it be admin. For the password, I can keep it anything. You can keep it anything you want. All right, so now we can move forward and I can all allocate a certain amount of squares. I'll, I'll just keep it 20. Then moving on, we can allow the public access. And for the database name, we'll just configure the database name for this. So I'll just keep something like test MSQL and I'll just keep every other thing as it is. And now I'll create the database using the create database button. All right, so the database will take some time to be created. So let's begin the coding part meanwhile. All right, so I'll just create a mice of sample flask app here and we'll connect it to the mysql database on RD, our rds so for this we need to install some requirements so i'll just list down here pip install obviously flask then we can install flask sql alchemy which will be used to connect to a sql type database whether it's mysql or postgresql so that can be installed by the package name flask sql alchemy and then i can also install mysql connector Python. All right, so I'll just install these libraries and now we can start our coding process. So, first of all, I'll just uh, import Flask and I'll declare the Flask app here with the from Flask, import Flask, and then I can import Flask SQL Alchemy as well. So, we have to import that using Flask SQL Alchemy and we have to import SQL Alchemy from it. All right, so now we can set up our app, which will be Flask name, and now we can set up a DB URI, which will be used to connect to our database. So for the DB URI, that's a string which is used to connect to a database using Flask Alchemy or any kind of connector. So for MySQL, the format goes like this. First of all, you'll pass MySQL, then plus MySQL connector. And then you can pass in the other variables, which is uh, first of all, it's semicolon and slash slash. Then you can have to pass the DB username, which was admin for us. And then we can write in the password, which was pro knowledge. I had kept it. And then I can write the host after the at. So for the host, we'll wait for the AWS RDS DB instance to be created. And then it will give us the endpoint, uh, which we can add at the host's place. All right. Uh, I'll just hard code it as host right now. And after the slash, we can pass in our db name which is test msql for us all right so our db or a setup now we can uh configure our app using the app dot config and we have to config this variable which is sql alchemy underscore database underscore uri and we have to configure it to the db uri variable which we had uh made earlier all right, so we have created our, we have successfully connected to AWS RDS instance. Uh, so now we can just, I can, I'll just create a sample endpoint here, which is app.route. And I'll just define something like home. And then I can uh, make it say something like connected to the database. So yeah, that's it. That's the process. If you want to connect to a database. So basically now if you want to make it connected to it, to, so now if you want to make a connector to the database, you can write it something db equals to SQL alchemy and then pass an app as the parameter. So this will create a db object. So this db object can be used to run queries, whether it's creating databases, selecting some queries, or selecting some fields in the database. So this db will be used for running queries. All right, so now I'll teach you how you can create a sample class inside the database as well. For the class, you can keep it something like class. And then if you want to create a, it's a class name user, 
now you have to pass in db dot model as the parameter and then you can start defining its column so first of all i can define id which is equals to db dot column integer and then i have this uh, defined a username which is db dot column which is a string of length 80 with the parameters such as unique equals to true and unable equals to false similarly goes for the email which is string of length 120 with unique and nullable as it is how as well represent function inside the class means whenever i call this user class this should be returned by me this as a string will be returned by me and printed to us all right so this is how you can create a class for a model inside this and if you want to run if you want to create this class then you can run db.create all which will uh, make the database according to the classes in the app all right so now let's replace our host with what's given in our database so this was our database i'll go inside this and this is our endpoint before connecting to the database we can configure our security group so we can go down and see we have a inbound security group right here this might not be present for you maybe this is the only thing present which is ec2 security group so you need to go inside this and edit the inbound uh, to be to be able to access to our mysql database which runs on the port 3306 so i'll just go inside this and as i can see i have enabled the port 3306 so if it is not even enabled for you the app will not connect to mysql database so for this you can uh, click on edit inbound rules and now you can add a rule which will be some custom tcp to the port 3306 and you can allow all the ipv4 addresses so you can basically just uh, write this which represents all ipv4 addresses and now you can save rules which will allow the traffic to be hit on the port 306 of your aws rds instance i have already added it uh, here so it does not matter for the postgres you can add the 5432 port which will enable your flask app to be connected to postgres as well all right so we'll now just copy the endpoint right here which is our host and paste it in place of the host in our db URI. all right perfect now we'll run this flask app and let's see if our database connected or not right there's just a little typo which is capital m and now I'll run the database. Oh, I forgot to add the main function. So I'll just run the main function. App.run debug goes to true. Now we should be able to access our application. And yeah, if I go to the 5000 port, I can see connected to the DB. So that means we have connected to, connected to the DB. And also we have uh, declared the classes, which are the models inside a database. All right, so that's how you basically connect your Flask app to a MySQL server on AWS RDS and that's it for the video so thanks for watching